Hello and welcome to another, another uh, live from the interface session. My name is Emmanuel and I will be your host until 10. I'm just finishing getting stuff set up here. I will share this on social media. Uh, first Facebook. Let me get all set up here and I will start shortly. Right, I think I'm good to start. Uh, everything looks good. Yes. All right. Um, so we had quite a interesting uh, live session last weekend. Uh, since my computer crashed twice, I hope it won't crash this time. Um, but uh, I I was very depressed about it. I don't know if it showed <laughs> because I spent a lot of time on the page that I was working on, but I took this as a way to uh, improve it every uh, even further. And uh, I think I did. And I think now the page looks really good. Um, so I put a lot more detail and that's a little bit uh, what I wanted to talk about first about how I went around to, uh, to make details on this page. Um, so, uh, before I start, if you'd like to, uh, like this, this video, uh, subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to me. Um, and please, please comment, please let me know what you think. I would love to improve this however I can. Um, so this is the first page of the new chapter that's coming out, uh, most likely around the fall. Um, and uh, so the inking part is done for this page. But I wanted to show you quickly how I went around and did the layers here. If you notice on my layer panel, I have, uh, I, may, I may probably like uh, see 48 uh, layers uh, to create this. Uh, I, I use a lot of layers because they're, they're free, right? Don't be shy to use them. Um, and the way I did this is I, I put different uh, levels so if you start at the back a little bit front so so you see i have four different uh four different levels and when i and then i use uh the mask to help me to uh to erase what i don't want to show on the other ones so if I remove the mask, you can see what it will look like. So I do go and kind of draw the whole thing. So what I do is I, I will like uh, work on one, you know, one level every time. This is, um, this is the deepest level, let's say. And then I will uh, add another, I will work on this level. And then, and then what I do is that I put maybe this 
back one uh, even lower transparency so that I can kind of make out the different level. Uh, often I will use colors as well. You can color these layers to uh, make them look a little bit uh, more different. That's a good thing to do as well. Uh, and then by activating the, the mask on, on the, the furthest layer, uh, you can see you know, already it's a little more clear, but I do like to continue the drawing even if it takes a little bit more time so that I'm sure that the line match up. Because often you will see like one line starts here and then, you know, and if you can see my cursor, but, and then when you reach the end of that pipe, let's say that line will start at, at a different point and it looks really weird. Um, so that's what I'm trying to avoid here. And then this is the last layer. And it doesn't really go on top of the of this layer as far as I can tell. Um, yeah. So that's a little bit of uh, background on, on this page. So I, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, I will leave it as it is for now. I still have uh, about six pages to, um, to ink. So um, let me get uh, started on that. Oh, this is another, didn't make any change here. I was on page two, three. And if I look at this view, I can see, I believe that I have These pages, you can see they're fairly advanced in terms of uh, detailing, especially this one. This one is pretty much just needs to be inked. This one also just needs to be inked. Uh, this one needs a little bit more detail, and that's page nine. So, yeah. So, I mean, I think uh, I should be able to finish fairly quickly the inking. I, I hope so, because these pages are pencil is pretty tight. Okay. So yesterday I worked on this this panel here. It, was, it went fairly well. It's not a very complex panel, but I did the little nurses in the little monitor here and the ringing. I think that helps to tie the two pages together. So most likely I will be uh, at home for the next two weeks. That uh, might give me more time to uh, to work on the comics since I don't have to uh, take public transportation every day. I work uh, in uh, about an hour from my home. So I need to, um, with, with traffic and everything and public transportation takes me about an hour each way. So, uh, this is eat a lot of hours. I mean, if you take everything together, I probably lose uh, at three hours every day in transportation. So hopefully, I can take some of that time back and uh, and use it better. Okay, I'll just get this page here as a reference. Um, so that I can match up the face of the nurses a little bit better. Hopefully. Yep. I don't know if you noticed, but on the page I showed you before, um, quickly, uh, you can see that the, um, when you put uh, it paler, it it already separates the level a lot, and that's one of the things that I'm going to use and why I'm I'm going uh, I made it this way in layers so that I can color each layer separately, and then I can use a let's say another layer in between and and have a kind of a gradient. From the bottom white so they can make some fog going up 
uh, and further separate these and give the, the uh, illusion of uh, distance. Uh, we call that uh, atmospheric uh, perspective. Another way to do this is to use uh, the, the, the thickness of your brush. And I, I do that sometimes. Uh, I could have done it here, especially with the nurse and everything. Uh, I didn't. I don't think it, because I'm using colors, uh, I think it's fine. Um, even there, here, I mean, the way I, I've kind of organized the page, I don't feel that it's too hard to read. But it does help sometimes to have like uh, some of the 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 front elements a little bit with a little bit thicker uh, brush. I don't know if you um, went to the website recently. Uh, for those who don't know, my this comic is available online as well. Uh, I I just uh, went through a redesign of the site. It's not entirely finished, especially the the store could be better. But I worked a lot on trying to improve the uh, the experience. If you don't know, I am a uh, a graphic designer by trade, so it's. It's uh, when I see something like that, I, I always need to uh, kind of try to improve upon my uh, my website every time I see it, even though it, it was it wasn't bad what how it was. I just need to nitpick at it every every time I see it. But now I went and uh, did a fairly extensive uh, redesign of it. I think it's a lot better, a lot cleaner. Um, and that's something important if you're planning to, uh, you know, to, to go on to, to do what I do and, and sell comics online, you, you want your site to look professional. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of lucky that I, I, I kind of took, studied this, you know, I work in, in web, so, and I, I worked as a, uh, as an HTML uh, integrator for many years, so you know I'm quite quite good at it um, without tooting my own horn. Um, so I I know my way around the code. You know I not that I'm not that great, but for for anything that's like programming, but for just laying out HTML, uh, pretty pretty good. So um, that helps a lot if you want to build your own site. Um, I don't, I don't know that you need to know so much, um, but adding some knowledge of it will help you a lot to be independent. If not, you're going to need to pay somebody, uh, to build your site for you. And that can get extremely expensive. Um, but I think you need to inspire confidence and if your site looks um, unprofessional it, it, it's really difficult to inspire confidence you know uh, when there's some alignment problem when your site doesn't look clean i thought mine was okay but it was a bit too um 
too busy there was too much stuff going on it was a dark it was a dark kind of a dark style to you so um i don't think it worked that all that well hopefully now uh will work better Love to hear what you think. If you went to the website, you can comment there on here or here. Uh, let me know what you think of it. As I said, I still um, there's still little things I want to fix, but it looks much better. Just uh, I heard that people are starting doing these uh, virtual cons now. And that, that sounded pretty interesting. If you know of any, I, I'd love to uh, try to see if I can get in. I don't know if uh, the uh, Toronto, um, the TCAP will get canceled. Um, but it looks like it will be. Like all the events here uh, are canceled, like all the big events. Like I'm supposed to be um, going to uh, the uh, the Quebec City uh, Book Fair uh, in April, but it's you know they're still um, they haven't called it yet. But from what I can see, uh, it looks like it's going to be canceled, which really sucks because I paid uh, an hotel <laughs> and my family and I were. We're planning to have a little trip to uh, to Quebec City, enjoy the city a little bit, as well as going to the the book fair. So this damn uh, virus is uh, really uh, annoying me. And people are going crazy over random stuff. Pre, it, it is interesting in a way to see it happen, and it, it just makes me a bit worried about not this one, but imagine if there were like a real, real emergency. You know, like our generation, we never saw uh, what a real. Uh, well, generation here in our country, we didn't, we don't know what war is. I mean, we, we've lived such comfortable life. It's, uh, it's crazy to think that, uh, how people would react if there were a real emergency. I remember uh, in my city there were no there was no water for uh, I think a day or two or something like that and people went nuts
I've been thinking as well uh, that I should try to rethink my newsletter in a different way. I mean, today uh, I do have a newsletter. You can subscribe to it by um, going to my website and uh, there's a little form there on, on the, let me show you quickly. I can show you the new site at the same time. So if you'd like to subscribe to the comic, there's a newsletter here. You can enter your email and, and get and get uh, get news. Um, yeah, so this is the new site. I worked a lot on getting the buttons, uh, you know, very focused and, and looking good. I think uh, I think they look pretty good. Maybe I can add a little overstate, uh, like when you go over it, you know, there will be uh, some kind of a little border appearing or something like that. I'm pretty happy how it turned out. Uh, I gave a lot of focus to the the books. So you can order the books here. You know, the presentation is a lot better on, on white here. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I also added a fan art section and I put some arts that I received from, uh, from people like you. So this is uh, one from Tony Sizzle, one from Matt Ray. I mean, I can't believe I still can't believe I received these. I mean, wow, those guys are amazing. I really feel fortunate to have people do this uh, for me. Um, I can't. It's hard to believe, honestly. Um, I, I I did some fan art too, so I guess it good just comes, you know, goes around this kind of thing. So I should do more fan art of uh, comics I like. There's a lot of really good web comics out there. Uh, and I think I should talk about them a little bit. You know, I try to do some uh, fan art occasionally on, on this stream. So probably the next one will be a, a fan art of, uh, of one of those web comics that I like. I personally, I, I like paper comics better, but there are very good web comics out there. And usually when I really like one, I, I will try to get the print copy. That's why to me, uh, stuff like Kickstarter is really important. And I, I I urge people to be really serious about it. Don't blow it. I mean, if you're if you're making a starter, make damn well sure that you are sending your rewards. I mean, I've participated in a few, and uh, and the reward the rewards don't come. And like, oh my god, man, what are you doing? This is uh, burning the um, goodwill of people. It is, you know, when I start a Kickstarter. Um, my book is done. I mean, it's finished. I just need, I just need to uh, probably uh, just finish l putting the page in in the document to to be printed. But I mean, the work is done. Uh, I don't start to get started until all my pages are are finished, um, or at least ninety eight percent. I don't. Know, I might nitpick on a few details still, but it's pretty much done um yeah so so this book uh i mean i still have a lot to do before i even call a kickstarter i could call it now you know and say oh you're gonna get it in uh in in a year and a half but it's a long 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 time to wait for people they might even forget about your book by then So yeah, I don't know, it might not be the most efficient thing and I've heard people saying, oh, you should 
Kickstarter is not is not a um, a pre-sale thing. You need to. Uh, it's not an ordering platform, stuff like that. But uh, to me, uh, it kind of is. I mean, what I'm why I'm doing it is really uh, just to help me a bit with the uh, cost of printing because it's a large sum of money to put out at one time and also i just make sure that i get all the orders that i can in one shot and then i can uh, send them all together make people save money and that's what i'm really about i hope this resonates with with people i, I try to be as um you know upfront and honest and as I can with these things you know if I if I pulled my pockets out I could probably finance it myself but it, it's a lot to ask and I, I and then I wouldn't have the benefit of organizing this campaign which helps also to to spread the words you know a lot of people only learned about my comics from Kickstarter so, so that's one thing that um, that's also good um i didn't finish talking about my newsletter so um yeah so you typically my newsletter is really um just a uh kind of uh digest no it's actually the post it takes all the posts i did during the month and put them all in an email and send it out um i'm not sure it really um uh, uh, resonates that much with people I don't know how, ma how many people actually read it uh, I mean they don't really need the, to have a newsletter they could just uh, go to the website and read maybe some people like to receive it in an email that's that's what, that's what I hoped um, but I don't know how much this is true in reality so uh what i'm thinking is um maybe try to make it a little bit more personalized not personalized but um uh, maybe a short word like a short little letter every month where i talk about what's been happening in the month but in in a new word uh just trying to explain in the words what happened in the month and I, I don't know I'm, I'm still really thinking about this if you have any idea i'd love to know I, i've seen some people um doing amazing uh newsletter and they spent like days and days on it <laughs> i really don't have that kind of time um i wish i had but i mean uh, i my focus here is really finishing these these pages as as fast as I can, as uh, not as fast as I can, but as efficiently as I can. Um, so I don't. I'm really rel reluctant to spend more time uh, on a newsletter, but maybe uh, just writing one paragraph explaining what happened in the month, what's what's happening what's gonna happen next month because this is something i don't do in the current newsletter it just tells me uh, tells people what's been happening uh i think looking at what's gonna happen might be interesting uh let's say uh like next let me grab my coffee like next month i'm going to have um i'm going if everything goes up goes uh, according to plan I, would, I was supposed to be in the um, Quebec comic book fair so that's something I would talk about in that newsletter at the end of March saying uh, watch me watch out for me next month at the Quebec book fair uh, and come meet me um, you know I could maybe spend five minutes to do a custom drawing I don't know I need uh, I need some ideas uh, <laughs> to make this interesting. I really don't know. Um, <laughs> I 
I probably talk about it every time, every Saturday, but uh, I'm also still thinking about Twitch, how that can be, uh, how I could use that instead of uh, YouTube. And still, I'm still thinking about it because it's, it seems like it's, it's more uh, in tune with what I'm doing. I just, it just seems like it's all gamers and um, I'm not really a gamer. Uh, I don't really have time for gaming anymore because I focus on my comic all the time. Um, so uh, I don't know. Um, but I should definitely try it. On the streaming side, uh, I also had a discussion with some other webcomic artists who are also streaming. They, they were using, um, instead of, uh, I'm using OBS Studio, uh, they were using Streamlabs. And I, so I, I read a bit about it and it's really, um, seems like it's, uh, I don't know if you know how, how open source uh, software work, but they're basically um, often building out uh, of each other. So you you would like you you would like to uh, have uh, one uh, one software, and then uh, the code is free. You can reuse it and do whatever you want with it. So people will take it and then try to improve upon it. And sometimes they will merge back into the main, but sometimes they will create their own thing. So Streamlabs uh, kind of did. And they, they kind of built them on top of OBS Studio that I'm using. Uh, apparently, there's a lot more features, um, easy to use features. Uh, I mean, in theory, you're supposed to be able to do everything you can uh, do there in OBS. Uh, but it seems like they have more integrated features in Streamlabs. It's a little bit more modern as well. So I need to. Uh, I need to look at that if it's a uh, viable option to maybe try to improve the team. I, I just made a little logo on the corner. But, um, you know, having a little team might be fun too. I see a guy, uh, he just started, I think, an Indiegogo campaign called uh, Brian Cheer, and it's really cool what he does. You should check him out. Uh, and he does streams all the time and his uh his team is really fun he has like a little dancing thing oh, in the corner of the screen and the, the live chat is popping up on one side and he just draws uh and answers question and i hope i'm hoping to get 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 to something like that so what i did i, I just took <laughs> this panel and put it there that's lazy, right? But wait, um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to lower the opacity and I'm going to change. I'm going to re, re um, um, so I'm going to use that trick to make this line thicker here and I'm going to retrace it uh, and change the expressions as well, because now the, the character the nurses uh, have entered the apartment and these guys were I can, I can, I think I add the um, sleeping uh, Z's here. come back to that so at this point they're kind of awake because these guys uh, are talking right but I think in my mind they were kind of pretending they were asleep in at this point because they don't want to be bothered
like that. So I'm gonna add some of these to the other kind of reminds us that he's uh, this guy's the father. Oh my god, you're crazy. So why, why am I tracing, you think? Well, one, two, two reasons. First, it saves time. Uh, secondly, I could just use, uh, you know, just use this and go with it. But then the, the, um, the line would be a bit fuzzy because it's been uh, it's been made bigger uh, so I don't like that um, you could use the, uh, the option of using vector lines uh, I tried it uh, I didn't like how uh, I think why is it there was something I didn't like about it um, I think it's when you color it's uh you have a limitation on what you can do with it i mean with, with vector you you can uh always uh i think you can make it bigger but it doesn't really look as good you also have less control over the the line thickness uh it kind of uh makes it um it's very very minor uh but i, I didn't like how it turned out so i kind of end it uh, liking this a little bit better than vector lining you know yeah you do have the option of changing the thickness uh, and with vectors but the result wasn't that great uh, I, I thought I, I could see I could see that it felt didn't feel natural uh, yeah, I didn't want to I couldn't go for that it's probably very minor uh, to most people. Uh, I, I, I didn't like it. So I'm good with my uh, retracing, even if it takes me a bit longer. It's not that far. I don't have to figure out the drawing, I just need to trace it. It doesn't really take that long. Those hair are take long though. But you add a lot of. Um, flavor to the character. Every every time I see this kind of chest there I'm reminded of uh, of the movie Barbarella. There is this uh, guy who lives on a cold planet. And he goes to see Barbarella and is uh, and he has kind of like a big fur fur coat. And, and while Barbarella Barbarella is not an erotic movie it's it's a little bit pornographic yeah not even pornographic it's i don't even know how to say it it's, uh but it is it does have some uh mature team let's say so uh they do end up uh doing something and uh he tears his uh fur coat open and reveals that his chest is as furry as his coat which I thought was extremely funny at the time okay yep
I was looking at one of my old uh, pages that I did in uh, 2013. The action story and the, on the online comic is actually the first um, story that I did. Uh, in the, and then I kind of joined it inside the tales. Uh, but I mean, it, it, I did try to have kind of a cartoony style there, but if I look at the pages there and the pages here I mean well I think I improved quite a lot in, uh, in those seven years it's been seven years already since I the first page it's crazy uh, even the I think some of the crap page I've been I, Pretty sure that I did them after the action, but I'm not sure anymore. Because I got my tablet in uh, 2012, I think, and I've been I've been using the same tablet for all the pages on the comic. So I know I, I started drawing on it. Uh, before action a bit and let me tell you if you're any kind of serious about about comics it's it's a uh, amazing tool I have to say I love love it I'm so glad I got one and I use it every day Um, for a couple hours so it's not like I'm like a computer uh, that you use for work because I, I don't use it like uh, at least like eight hours a day like I do my work computer but still uh, it's uh, you know it's a good product for sure I don't know the new ones if they're as good as that but, um, but this one definitely was a good model. What's annoying though is uh, I, I work. We uh, we have one um, a little bit older model. Uh, it's um, uh, I forgot which model is it. It's, I think it's one generation before, and they stopped uh, supporting it. Which uh, why? I mean, I mean maybe on PC it works. I haven't tried on, on a PC, uh, but it doesn't work on Mac and we work, we use Mac at work. So it's, uh, it's very annoying. I mean, I, I would use it sometimes to, to do some, uh, some, um, some photo manipulation. Sometimes it's good to, to be able to draw the masks and uh, draw some little details around uh, and it doesn't work anymore. I just, it was fun to have that available at work. It's really too bad that uh, they stopped supporting it. I don't know why. I mean, it's it was still working well. So I'm really hoping that they continue supporting this model, otherwise uh, I'll, <laughs> I'll be uh, in trouble when, uh, God forbid, uh, this one uh, passes on. So I've been I've been trying to save some money in case that happens. It's not it's not necessarily easy. It's a big piece of equipment, so it does cost. Uh, a large amount of money so I'm uh, if you'd like to help I did have I did open a uh, a Kofi account the link is in the description I'm saving up a, uh, there uh, you know 
if you if you are able to I would appreciate it just help me to fund my next tablet I will use this one as long as I can but you know that's you know all these things are I prefer to get ready get ready now because this one took me like two years to save for all right almost done with these guys Okay, a little bit of copy. see I'm gonna lower the width of my pencil so that they look a little bit further this is my the parents it's the guys okay. I think I'm gonna just work on them a little bit more. Let's see. Make them uh, angled a little bit. It's a little bit flat now as it is. I might try to put them higher as well.
coming up on time now. I started a little bit early, but I will continue until 10 for sure. I Just a few words uh, maybe before I leave. Um, really happy you came, uh, you watched this video. Um, I would always, I always love to receive any kind of feedback on it. If you think, uh, if you don't like the format, if you like the format, if you think I should try something, please let me know. I would love to have ideas to make this better. Um, well, you know, always like a whistle cry, but it really means a lot to me. Um, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it, I think. Um, I'll just continue. I don't know if I have time to finish this. Um, these two guys, uh, I'll give a shot. I'll give it a shot for sure.
All right. It's then uh, so I'll um, I'll leave this as it is and go do some other stuff I need to do today. Try to have a relaxing day with the family. I hope that uh, this was good for you. Uh, I always have a lot of fun when I'm drawing, so I'm glad if you enjoy it as well. Um, and I hope that you uh, can stay at home if you can and avoid spreading that uh, that fun virus we all have now. So um, yeah, keep safe, have fun, draw a little bit, and we'll see each other next Saturday. All right, so goodbye.